guys ever see freezing rain before it's like snow except you know freezes on contact let's see how the truck does a freezing rain cold start freezing rain's good for this the entire door is completely frozen awesome one good thing about freezing rain it's usually not too cold kind of bring this down that is glow plug cycle for the beginning of the day. There we go. And a roll tide. Oh yeah, instantly. The only thing is there's so much darn ice. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go scrape. It's kind of that ice too. It doesn't really like the scrape, so you gotta use the end of this. It's not fun. Let me scrape this all up and I'll be right back. There. As I can see now, might actually lock in the hub, you know? Getting a little slick. So you might ask what we're up to today, and well, I'm gonna be frank with you. We're gonna go drive all the way up to Bathurst, because we need to go pick up four rims for the International. These four rims are what I've been looking for, and you guys might be wondering what kind of rims they are, but you're just gonna have to wait and see. So that's the mission for today. Can we make it to Bathurst, pick up those rims? Only time will tell. Probability of success, what do you think? <laughs> oh, that doesn't in incite courage. It's all right, we got a good old Ford diesel as our sleigh. So it's better than $3 a liter, but it's still not that good. You know, $65 for 31 liters. Current price is 206, so you get what you pay for, I guess. <sighs> Gotta start every adventure with a trip to Tim Hortons. You guys listen to Jerry Reed yourselves? So this is kind of the situation that we got on for roads. Not the worst food truck has ever seen, but this is just the freezing rain. Once we get up a little bit further north, we might get into some snow. We'll bring you guys along. We'll see what it looks like. $24 for 11 liters. Didn't really need to fill up. But it's always a good idea in a snowstorm to, you know, fill up your tank where you can. In case you ever do go off the road, you can keep that engine running for a long, long time if you have a full tank of fuel instead of, you know, quarter tank.
bad turs there with an accentuated tick. You know what I mean? But anyway, we're on our way back from Bathurst, and well, we got the rims in tow. And I want to tell you guys why we're even getting those rims and why we bought them. Because when you see them when we get back to the barn, I'll show you. You're going to be like, why did you travel so far to get those things? Well, let me tell you right now. Right now, the rims in the back are stock rims for a 2003 F-150, but it's the base model rims, right? And because it's base model, they're 16 inch and they're steel. Very, very crucial. Two things that I wanted. They're a little bit thinner too. Now, the rims that we have on the truck right now are 17s, right? And they're chromes and they're, they're backspace and all that stuff, right? Offset. The original rims I wanted were these rims back here. But to find an 03 F-150 that still has its rims that you can buy, that has a big crush and all that stuff, base model with 16 inch rims for some reason in our area is like unobtainium you know adamantium vibranium you know those steels that are really hard to find pandora i think is adamantium or unobtainium whatever anyway you know what i mean but the only other rims i found like this were in montreal i'm not driving to montreal so when these rims i found up in bathurst for 40 bucks, so you're talking $10 a rim, I jumped on it. You know, you can't go wrong with that. So we got them in tow. I'll show you guys when we get down to the barn. They're going to look pretty nice on the truck, and it's the smallest rim I can go for the front calipers. On the newer trucks, your front end, your front calipers kind of dictate the size of the rim that you can run. I like a smaller rim. In this case, a 16 is the smallest. Now, side point, these trucks came with 15 inch rims, or you can spec them out with 16 inch rims, both of them. I'm talking the original 1954. So the overall plan is eventually to either get the beauty ring, I might get those for a 16 inch, you can get those universal, but really I want the eBay center caps, the dogfish caps, the original international harvester ones, to put over these 16 inch rims that way from a 30 foot job, if you don't know the truck and you don't know what they're supposed to look like, might be able to pass it off as a 54 International. Not modded. Who's to say? But that's the plan. Anyway, that's enough uh, tongue flapping. I'll see you guys down at the park. changing out not today obviously because we don't have the rubber for it but i'm going to jack this up we're just going to slide this rim on this guy just take a peek on what it's going to look like so i think that's an overall better wheel choice than those guys right there i wasn't a huge fan of the chromies and the big slots that way is going to look pretty darn good not going to lie Woo -wee. It's kind of what they looked from the back there. Just imagine it with some rubber on it. They're a little bit more sucked in, which is nice. It's going to help with that fender clearance a little bit. But no, call me old school, but I like a little bit more rubber than rim on these old trucks. I think the closer you can get to a 15-inch rim, the better off you'll be. 16-inch rim is going to do us just fine. I don't think there's going to be any problems there. Now, I already went over with it, but let me just recap. Main reason I got these, I like the look of a smaller rim. Second reason, I can now run a chrome beauty strip on the outer edge if we choose fit. 16 inch, they make those all the time. But the main reason why this truck 
came with 15s from the factory or 16s, depending on which model you had. This is the L112, but I believe the bigger models had 16 inch. You could get the international hub piece, the, 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 the chrome cover that goes right on the middle. It says International Harvester right on it on eBay. I think that would look some slick on this old truck, having the original caps on it, even though the rest of it isn't, but I think it would turn out pretty darn good, not gonna lie. So yeah, that's our choice on wheels. I hope you guys enjoyed the little adventure we had, the little snowy adventure. And I'll catch you guys in the next video really, really soon. Hey, see ya.